in this video, we're going to discuss about the basic axioms and theorems on projective geometry. Okay, so let's start with the three basic axioms na understood na natin kahit doon pa sa Euclidean geometry. So, A1 or axioms number 1, there exists a point and a line that are not incident. Kumbaga, yung point, wala, dun siya, wala siya doon sa line or hindi siya naglalay doon sa line. Okay? So, for A2, every line is incident with at least 3 points or 3 distinct points. And for A3, any 2 distinct points are incident with just one line or may isang line lang ang pwedeng mag-join doon sa dalawang points okay for axioms number 4 if a b c d are four distinct points such that a b meets c d then a c meets b d okay so para mas malinaw gawa natin to ng illustration yung a4 okay so, let's say meron daw tayong four distinct points. Then, yung meron tayong tina, uh, AB dito, line AB tsaka line CD. Sabi, yung AB daw tsaka CD magmimit. Okay? So, let's say, ito siya. So, let's say ito yung point A. Then, let's say dito yung point B. Then, ito yung point C point D. Okay? Tapos, yung AB tsaka CD nag sila, let's say, dito sa point E. Okay? Then, according to A4, kapag daw nag yung AB tsaka CD, then automatic daw yung AC tsaka BD ay mag -meet. Kung magdadaro tayo ng line from A to C, tsaka ng line from B to D, so automatic daw mag -meet yung dalawang lines na yan. Okay, or mag intersect Okay, so dito sa A4, kumbaga parang umaalis na tayo doon sa idea ng Euclidean geometry. Okay, bakit? Kasi, yung axiom na to, kumbaga, uh, inaalis niya yung possibility na yung AC tsaka BT, uh, yung BD, ay maging parallel. Okay, so... Kumbaga, iniiwan natin yung possibility na baka parallel line to. Kasi according sa kanya, automatic mag intersect daw yan. Kahit anong mangyari, basta yung AB tsaka CD nag-meet. Okay? So, kumbaga, umalis na tayo dun sa idea ng Euclidean geometry. So, next naman, for A5, if ABC is a plane, there is at least one point not in the plane ABC. So, dito naman, uh, pinapakita niyan yung idea ng uh, three-dimensional. Okay? Kung meron daw tayong plane, meron daw isang point na wala dun sa plane na yon. Okay? So, for A6, any two distinct planes have at least two common points. So, dito naman, uh, pinaprevent tayo for, uh, from being four-dimensional. Then, for A7, the three diagonal points of a complete quadrangle are never collinear. Okay? So, para makita natin, so magdaro tayo ng quadrangle, quadrangle, so let's say, dito, then, Yan, then, let's have the line. Okay? So, then, uh, pangalanan natin siya, Q, R, S, P. P, Q, R, S. And then, let's say, ito yung A, B, C. So, parang in example ko na to sa nakaraang video natin. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, alin dito yung mga diagonal points? Kung matatandaan nyo sa nakaraang lesson, Yung diagonal points niya ay yung point A, point B, tsaka point C. Yung mga hindi vertices ng ating quadrangle. 
or complete quadrangle. Kasi yung vertices niya ay PQRS. So, ito yung mga hindi vertices. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, according to A7, hindi daw pwede maging collinear lahat ng diagonal points. Yung 3 diagonal points. Okay? So, actually, yung 3 diagonal points, magpo-form siya kung non-collinear siya, magpo-form yan ng triangle. Okay? Katulad nito. Yan. Ang bawa dito, pwede tayo makapag uh, draw ng triangle gamit yung tatlong diagonal points. So, ang tawag dun sa triangle na yon ay diagonal triangle of the quadrangle. Now, let's have the four basic theorems. So, for theorem 1, any two distinct lines have at most one common point. Okay, so, iprove natin muna yung theorem number 1. For our proof, Now, meron tayong two distinct lines dito na pinag-uusapan. So, suppose two distinct, or wag muna natin yan ng distinct. Suppose two lines A and B okay have so, ang gagawin natin dito, i-assume natin na merong two points two common points yung lines A and B. Okay, kumbaga taliwas dito sa sinasabi ng ating theorems. Tapos, magpapalabas tayo dito ng contradiction. So, suppose two lines A and B have two common points A and B. Okay? Then, according dun sa A3, Kung babalikan natin yung A3 kanina, sabi yung dalawang points daw ay pinagdudugtong lang ng iisang line. Okay? So, masasabi lang natin na uh, isa lang yung line na pwedeng mag-join mag doon sa dalawang points. So, ibig sabihin, by A3, kung itong distinct points na to or two common points na to, ay point ng line A or points ng line A so ibig sabihin dinudugtong ng line A itong A and B and at the same time dinudugtong ng line B yung points A and B okay so by A3 both lines are determined by points a and B. Okay, kasi yung points A and B ay points ng line A tsaka points din daw ng line B kaya nga common points nila yan. Okay? Now, kung ganun nga siya, ibig sabihin yung lines A and B coincide siya. Okay? Kasi according nga sa A3 there is only one line na magdudugtong dapat dun sa dalawang points. Okay? So, ibig sabihin lines A and B coincide which kinokontradict nito yung ating assumption na dapat uh, meron tayong two distinct lines dapat nga pala sinulat talaga natin distinct para makita natin yung contradiction okay so kinokontra niya yung ating assumption yung dito na yung A and B are distinct lines okay so, contradicting our assumption that they, yung dalawang lines, they are distinct. Okay? So, therefore, hindi pwede na merong dalawang common points yung two distinct lines. Okay, so do natin na prove yung first for theorem number two. Any two coplanar lines have at least one common point. Okay, so for our proof, <coughs> uh, 
So, let E. Okay, mag-let muna tayo ng point na complainer, complainer dito sa dalawang lines. Pero, wala siya dyan sa dalawang lines. Okay, let's say point E. So, let E be a point complainer. With the two lines, but not on either of them. Okay. Then let AC be one of the lines. So pangalanan lang natin yung isang line don sa dalawang complainer lines. So let AC be one of the lines. So, ang target natin, dapat yung isang line mag intersect dito sa AC or basta, dapat magkaroon sila ng uh, at least one common point. Or may mapakita ako na common point ng AC. Tsaka nung isang line. Okay? Now, uh, para makita natin, let's say, ito yung E, tapos ito yung AC. Okay. So, pwede tayong mag-draw dito ng pencil of lines from point E. Tapos, makakabuo tayo dito ng plane ACE. So, let's say ito. Okay, pencil of lines from point E. So, dito meron tayong plane ACE. Now, since yung plane ACE determined by the pencil of lines through E that meet AC, <clears throat> then, yung other line na complainer dito sa AC, uh, dadaanan niya yung points na nandito sa distinct lines, sa pencil of lines. Okay? Kung magdodraw tayo, let's say yung isa ay point B, not, let's say dito, point B, tapos yung isa ay D. Okay? So, let's say dito. Kahit ilagay ko yung dito. Okay? So, madadaanan niya itong pencil of lines. Bawat uh, pencil of lines. Okay? So, kapag magdadraw tayo ng line, let's say line BD. Okay? Now, since ilagay, na, ilagay natin sa word, since the plane ACE, ito yun, plane ACE, is determined by the pencil of lines through E. Okay? Kasi itong point E ay wala dun sa dalawang uh, coplanar lines. So, ibig sabihin, itong point E wala din siya dito sa line BD. Okay? Which is yung point E na to ay nag- uh, yung pencil of lines from point A nag-meet dito sa AC, line AC. Okay? So, through A that meet AC, so we can take the other line to join two points on distinct lines distinct lines of this pencil let's say B on EA so let's say ito yon, yung B na nandito sa line EA and D sa line EC on EC. Okay? Now, pwede natin gamitin dito yung A4 or axiom number 4 according to A4, di ba? Kapag daw yung AB tsaka CD nag-meet, then yung ACBD mag-meet. So, kung mag-meet yung AC at BD, therefore, by A4, AC and BD, which is yung dalawang coplanar lines na tinutukoy natin, ay mag-meet. So, therefore, 
meron silang common point. So, which is, yun yung gustong patunayan ng ating theorem. Okay, so therefore, For number 3, if two lines have a common point, they are coplanar. So, eto madali lang i-prove to. So, for our proof, let two lines have, o pangalanan natin, so let two lines AC and BC have a common point. C. Okay? So, let's say we have AC. Ito yung AC. Tapos, ito yung BC. Common point ng dalawang lines na yan ay point C. Okay? So, dito meron tayong mabubuong plane. So, we have plane ABC. Okay? Now, since AC and BC both lie in the plane ABC. So, ito yun. Okay, nasa loob ng plane na yan yung AC tsaka yung BC. So, therefore, AC and BC are coplanar. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. For number 4, there exist 4 coplanar points of which no 3 are collinear. So, ito, magsisilbi na lang siyang exercise ninyo.